Hello everybody, welcome back to Small FTL. Going to continue on from where we left off, but we got killed last time, so we're going to start again. Jimmy's Terpinator. So, it's our ship, these are our systems. We're going over what everything does in a bit more detail than we did last time, because last time was a bit blind. So, here we go for that one. <coughs> There's our Ned. Ugh, got a bit of a sore throat today, so bear with me. So, yeah, everything, I'm just going to be going over what everything does. We get more ships here, but I don't know if you can actually change them for me to play for or not. So, we're going to start. Data you are carrying is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need to do supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet catches up. So, I'm going to move our crew around. My crew names. Yeah, you get experience for whatever crew members on what. So our next level up will give us plus 5 evasion. Plus 5 evasion. 10% faster recharge, blah, you know. Increase repairs. And just everything else. So. <coughs> um, we'll go up here. Great running asteroid field. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Turn and fight. So. <coughs> Sorry about this. This is our reactor. We've got three bars. When I power up a weapon, we lose a bar and it goes into our weapons. And then when I power everything up, we lose all my reactors so I can, can't put my engines on full power because we haven't got enough power. So. I'm gonna hit the shields with our missiles. Missiles can go through shields and just attack whole damage. But they've actually got quite a bit of shield health, so try and just hit wherever we can. Although the asteroid field's hitting theirs and reducing it quite a bit. <coughs> so they've got a weapon they missed, so it's just gonna fly past. We missed with ours. Our shields are our engines are damaged. So we have a fire on board we can open up our blast doors and have the air suck out the fire but it's not gonna happen. So everything is ready. The shield bar is down. So we're just gonna take their weapons. Oh god. The enemy ship appears to be firing us F FTO. So I think we will just open the blast doors on this one and have the fire just drain out. <coughs> Get my crew to the med bay. Um, but I don't want it to target anything. So we might as well just get on our shields and protect that a little bit. There we go. So we blew up their ship. Did have a bit of a close call there. The ship explodes, they've behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. So we've got two missiles, a drawing part, and 17 scrap. And we will show our doors, this button shuts all the doors, this button opens all the doors, and so forth. So, we'll get back to our positions. And we'll have everyone start repairing the engines because we can't do anything anyway. So, ting 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 ting. But we still got asteroids incoming. So let's get back to our positions. Uh. I don't know if you can see it there, but we've got a little bit of repair mirror ever so slightly. Doesn't take too long to get it up. You can probably definitely see it there a little bit. <coughs> so we definitely need to get out of here pretty quickly. Come on. Um, got to it. Yeah. Stumble across the forward scale of, this <coughs> of the Rebel fleet. Continue. They're powering up their FTO. If they get away, then I jump from the fleet of their positions. Reduce our engines to half power. Power up all of our weapons. Just fire on their uh, engines for now. Let's 
engines and their shields. So they're taking our shields down. But they're not going anywhere because they're engines down. So we're just going to hit up their oxygen. Don't know why they've got the drone room and they haven't even got any drones. Yeah, shields are down. And their oxygen's offline. So is their ship. Their ship's destroyed. Bye bye. <coughs> the ship breaks apart and you're relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Two fuel, one drone scrap, drone, anti ship drone. So when we get a drone module, we can use that. I may sell it, not too sure. I may keep it because I do have trouble when <coughs> we get boarded. They are having nearby small rebel scout immediately identifies you as a threat and engages. Sure. <laughs> Should attack their shields and weapons. Once their weapons are down, we'll just use the laser on them. Because that's how we roll. Oh shit. So let's get it done. The ship explodes even behind us as engine collection to free fuel, one missile and fifteen scrap. So we're doing not too bad. I'm hoping to get um let's get our shields up a little bit. Get some more shields on the same. So when we get enough scrap, we'll get another reactor bar. So let's go up to here. Rebels are closing in. Might want to start heading down to the exit. Scan a show remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this, or you will next concentrate firearm. Attack the pirates. You've asked for it. They pull away from the plane and moving to engage. So, shall attack their weapons. I think once their weapons are down, we'll <coughs> power down one of our shields and start powering up our missiles. So, if we shall start the power and we'll hit their oxygen. Just starve them out of oxygen. Shields are down. Weapons are offline. Boom. Hmm. No, they will probably get more just destroying them, so. Just keep hitting them. Not off the missiles. Come on. So, we're gonna fire our missiles. There we go, so they're done. We'll probably get more from just destroying them. We've got more scrap, which is what we want, really. <clears throat> With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there will just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon. Sorry, we can't give you more. One fuel, one drone pot, nine scrap. So we'll get another power bar. Power bar. We'll head down to here. <coughs> Try and get away. Pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. We immediately moves in to engage. So we still got all of our ships powered up. Apart from our med bay, but that's not massively important until we get out of combat. <laughs> There's a nasty asteroid field here. And um we we'll just hit their shields quick. Just let the asteroid field do the rest. Ship explodes, leaving behind some scrap metal and all that. One missile, one drone pot, and eleven scrap. Sol. Quickly 
power off our mid by get our crew in there. And we'll just start heading down here. <coughs> Pardon me. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings and nearby pirate ships seem to so have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down your engines. The crew manages to keep them barely operational when you move into attack. <laughs> right, so do the usual. I'm gonna fire both on their shields. These ships always have the what well, they seem to have the thing. Come on. Oh no! They always seem to manage to do that. So... <coughs> now they're sitting ducks. They haven't really pierced our shield yet either. No, we haven't got many missiles left. So we'll wait. Try and just hit them up. The laser. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pew. Prior ship is destroyed, your engines come on, you salvage what you can from the debris, few fuel, and eat scrap. There'll be a distress signal here. It appears that the distress beacon is coming from the service of nearby moon. You're seeing the picking up, go down to and survive. You find the colony seems to be recently attacked. Fuzzy, you find a load of. He happily offers the service in getting off that rock. So we got a rock man. So we're going to put him in the shields. Charlie! Ooh, it's Charlie! So look, you can see now that our. Uh, James has really got good on the engines and repairing. And it's probably the same with weapons. 21 out of 25, he's nearly HD. Oh, that's 65. That one's at 15. So we've got a new crew member. <coughs> so we will go down here. Hmm. Nah. Yeah. Strange vessel approaches. A digital message appears on your view screen. This is an automated merchant. Refuel this vessel with fuel, and it will supply you with drones. Yeah, right, I mean, because we haven't got many drying pilots, and I want to try and get the drying thing soon. You've arrived at the long range beacon when the F-Chill drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Scans reveal of a large asteroid field nearby, so train to center may discover useful materials while the f -Chill. Yeah, the asteroid field proves more dangerous than expected. Some asteroids manage to get through your ship's defenses. Eh, not too great, but that's probably a story in the next one. Rock shide. What controlled sector uncharted? Uh that's weird. Pew <coughs> Well people are a powerful and proud race, it is not unheard of them to have peaceful journeys through their lands, but don't count on it. But I have a rock man myself. You find a number of ships flying from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Nope, ain't ain't doing that. You can't risk fighting some unknown alien every backwater station you come across. You prefer to jump. Because whenever I seem to do that, we always seem to lose crew members, and I'm not losing crew members. <laughs> There's nothing at this bacon. Just abandoned depot, strip clean. That's pointless.
You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining. Tried to dislodge the ship and take a few careful shots but exposed a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently of your weapons as shockwave forces you back as debris. Pelts against your hull when you regain your crawl. There's not much left of the ship. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the story, sweet. So we'll go out and buy some more missiles. Try to get four more missiles, hopefully. <coughs> with the local rock settlement. So I'm willing to trade with others, life forms, an opportunity. An opportunist. Maintenance crew have postponed his piracy activities and serve a and catch up any passes. Um. But still, I don't even need it. Um. So there we go. Something we can do. Ship's back to full, so we can we'll jump up to. We'll go around here and then up and then down. You receive a, race, a message meant to de degrade you as aliens. You expect an attack, but it seems to come from a small civilian shuttle. Fair enough. Um. <coughs> oh, fucking asteroid belts. <coughs> the captain of a rock freighter lost in an asteroid belt. How is you? Our coordinates led us here, but only death greets us. What must be, be must be death to all. You power up your power up the battle systems and wonder how long they've been stuck here. Crazy people. They must have been stuck here for ages. Take that stuff. Yes, we'll accept that because we do need the fuel. <laughs> Come on. Luckily, we've got two shields because we're just mm, basically just knocking all the uh. All the debris off, pretty much straight away. You find a rock ship docked with a damaged man is fire before you have a chance to hail them. Ship moves into attack you and you register a teleport symbol from a disabled ship there using Manus tech to board you. Oh god. Get in here. Oh shit, but they've still got to fight them mainly. Uh, we'll do the same. Just hit their weapons. So let's go. Sweet, so select our three crew members. Um try not doing anything anyway really, so we can just keep hitting them. Get our boys back to their posts. There we go, they're done. Should be flies leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap, one missile drone part, twenty one scrap. So we've got quite a nice bit. We'll uh grade our power again. Not great to blast doors that impede fire and spreading intruders movement. Yeah. Get them next. See enemy power use. Or oh, elevation. Try and get some of these up next. Immune to fire. 
movement speed is halved, so we're a meter fast, we can use them to put out fire if we need to. So power up our engines to half. And there we go. So let's jump to... Um, we'll go up here and we can come down, we'll still have time, we'll be avoiding the rebels still. There is a black market hub here, you receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have a extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay for them. No, I don't even have five missiles, my friend. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm fucking broke, bro. You arrive in the system to see pirate ship pursuing us. <coughs> a civilian ship, you detect messages from the sewer. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the pirates. Bar. Come on. Shut up, phone. So, <coughs> see, so, yeah, we're looking pretty strong at the moment. Come on. There we go. So we're gonna quickly fire again on them. Dear if we go up. Oh, we won't fire a missile actually, it's not worth it. The weapons are down, so they can't harm us. There we go. <coughs> the pirate ship breaks apart, you hasten to call the civilian ship two missiles. The ship that the pirate assumed was a science vessel, they thank you for saving them enough for a small reward. A couple of missiles are drawn apart and a bunch of scrap. Um <laughs> Didn't that'll do. Let's just jump to the next sector. You've arrived at a long range beacon when the FTL drive is charged, you may jump to the next sector. You inform a nearby civilian station of your flight from the rebels they offer to have for your ship with a weapon and wish you well. So we've got 15 scrap and a Her Hermes missile. So we'll try and get another upgrade on our weapons. Next. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Jump to the next sector. Uh, Um, we'll go to the Engi homeworld. You have arrived in Engi space. The mantis have been threatening the Engi core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. So let's look at the map. Um, we'll do this distress call, and then I think we'll call it a day. As soon as you arrive at this distress signal, shots are fired towards you. A trap. I'm so just using the Hermes missile again. They don't have any actual drones, so we should be alright. The size of that missile. Oh no, we do have something. What the fuck is that? Okay, we got a problem. Oh shit, there's a bunch of these actually. So we are back. Sorry about that. Quick cut. So we're going to get in here and hopefully just quickly get rid of this fucking drone because he's doing me nothing oh no don't shoot our doors <laughs> Uh, you've made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Free feel free. Yeah, we'll take that. That's a nice little offer, actually. So how are we going to get rid of this bloody drone? Now there's a hole in my thing. But I don't know what's going on with this drone. Is he mine now? Guess we'll 
find out when we jump. So. Um, we'll get all of our crew back to their positions and then we'll quickly do a jump to this store actually. Then we'll call it. <laughs> the Engie can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The Engie blah blah blah. Um, do we sort of want to sell my old one? Just because we have a much better missile. And can repair speed at double. So we'll buy one of these. Just repair our thing a little bit, buy a bit of fuel, just get everything good. So, we've got a new crew member. Don't know where they're going to go. Probably just put him here and actually just have a rock man stand around here. So, that is going to be it for today. It's taken a while to get these episodes out because I keep getting killed, as I said before in previous ones. But... It's done now, thank God. So, hope you've enjoyed this one, people. Bye-bye.